Here's a tip that you might find handy in certain circumstances. Did you know that your network interface on your local network can have more than one IP address at the same time? Not a lot of people know this. Why would you want to do that? Well, here's one reason. Here's my browser. And I have just plugged in a little network device, which I know um, by default has the IP address of 192.168.1.255. Sorry, 225. Now, unfortunately, I can't talk to that on my network. Let's try HTTP 192.168.1.225. Uh, there it is. And it'll sit there for a long time and eventually fail to connect. Why is that? Because my network is not 192.168.1. It's 192.168.0. So let's have a little reminder about how this stuff works. Um, when my computer here tries to talk to another IP address, what it does is it uses the subnet mask to work out whether that IP address is on my local network or somewhere else. So in this case, we've got a subnet mask where all of the first three bytes are set to 255. So what that means is, in my case, it's going to look at the first three bytes of my IP address, and it's going to look at the first three bytes of the IP address I'm trying to connect to. And if those are the same, then it says, aha, we're on the same local network, I can just talk directly. If not, it will go to my router and try and connect to the outside world via the router. So in the case of 192.168.1, you can see that third byte is not the same as my network um, and therefore it's trying to talk to this through the router and assuming it's in the outside world. Nothing on this network knows about being on 192.168.1 except the device I've just plugged in. So what I want to do is tell my Mac that it also can use the 192.168.1 addresses. And the easiest way to do that, I could reconfigure all the networking uh, on my Mac and uh, then turn it all back again when I've when I finish, but that would be a real nuisance. So here's what you can do. Click the plus button at the bottom of your network preferences here. I'm going to add a new Ethernet service. I'm not actually adding a new Ethernet device. Um, and at the moment, this doesn't have a DHCP address and uh, I don't want it to. I want to manually set up an address. So I'm going to tell my Mac that it should also look at 192.168.1. Pick a number 14. I'll use the same as, as was on the zero network. Same subnet mask. And I'm actually not concerned about what how to set the router. The router wouldn't really understand stuff coming from a 192.168 address, so I don't really care about it here. Um, this is purely for me to do something with another device on my network. That's fine. I can apply. And you'll see I now have um, two connected Ethernet interfaces. And in fact, if I now go to my browser and now try connecting to HTTP 192.168.1.225, haha, I get a login prompt. This is from the elderly uh, Wi-Fi router, and there we are. So we can now talk happily to things on the 192.168.1 network. Now, if you are actually wanting to set up your network permanently to use both of those addresses, you would do it rather differently and you'd need to change your subnet mask on all the connected devices and so forth. This is just a handy way um, to talk to something else that you've plugged into your network but you know is on a different uh, IP address range. And when I finished configuring that device so it operates on my normal 192.168.0 network, I don't need this setup anymore, so I just click the minus button here to delete it and click apply and I'm back to my normal configuration.